Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create wraparound text that looks like this. This is text that wraps around an image on your Squarespace website. To do this, we're going to use a markdown block. Now, in this tutorial, I'm using the latest version of Squarespace known as Fluid Engine Editor in version 7.1, but we're using a markdown block and that's available in older versions too. So if you're still on version seven, this tutorial will work for you. Wherever you can add a markdown block, Follow the steps after that point and you'll be able to create the same effect on your site. And one other thing I want to mention, because it's a markdown block, that means we can add this to a standard page section, we can add it to a blog post, even additional product details or an individual event on an event listing page. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how to set this up. So here we are in my Squarespace site. And again, this is going to work for any version of Squarespace. Here we have a markdown block with text and an image. And what we're going to do is use CSS to pull this text underneath it so it actually wraps around the image itself. Now I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you here. We've added a markdown block. And if I double click on this, you'll see inside the markdown block, I've got text. And then I have the text here, which is actually code. It says left caret IMG SRC equals and then in quotation marks I have the location of the image now I do want to mention in this particular tutorial I'm using an image from the same place I got this filler text a little website I found called Jeff Sum, which creates placeholder text that is entirely made of Jeff Goldblum quotes I am not affiliated with this website or its creators but I thought it was fun so I'm using that for this example here now this part's important after that I've added width equals 200 px I wanted to make sure that this image when it to be too large on mobile so I set it to 200 definitely adjust that to whatever you see fit and I also strongly recommend hosting an image on your own Squarespace website I've got a tutorial linked below if you're not sure how to do that but anywho we've got that here and we've got this image right where I wanted in between these two lines of text but here inside the markup block that's exactly where it places it no text on the side just above and below so using this code right here we're actually going to float that image on the left and give it a little bit of a margin. To do that, we need to add custom CSS. So I'm going to select done and we'll hop out of edit mode and we'll navigate to design and then select custom CSS. And this is where we'll paste the code. Now scrolling down here, I'm just going to copy this out of my site. I do have this in the description below, but let's take a look at what happens as soon as I add it to my custom CSS panel here. Now the text is wrapping around the image. So what this says is in a markdown block, if you see an image, float it on the left and give it a margin of 15 PX. Now you can reduce that to five if you want it to be really close to the image or increase it to 25 if you want it to be a big distance between there. 15 was kind of perfect for the font size I'm using. And instead of left, you can also say right if you want your image on the other side. And again, adjusting the margin is gonna be a little bit different for that side. We'll need to change the word right to left and that will adjust the spacing with the text on the left side of this image. So if you say float right, adjust margin left. And if you say float left, adjust margin right. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this good to go. And there you have it. Now, again, I have listed the style code in the description below. And I also threw in a link to that Jeff Goldblum text generator because I think it's kind of fun. That's jeffsum.com. Again, not an affiliate. I just think it's a really fun website. So I thought I'd share it with you. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and comment below and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.